Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. What a joy to join again this morning. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Never forget this is the 10th month. Amen. 10th month is a month of God's favor. Hallelujah. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The Bible says, I think in Esther chapter 5, verses 1 and 2, on 10th month, King Ahasuerus extended his scepter, scepter towards uh, Esther when she entered the king's palace without permission, uh, pleading for God's people. I want to remind you that we have to plead for God's very own people, that is Israel, that when we pray that the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, Jesus will release his scepter of favor upon God's people and they will be delivered from terrorist Ham Hamas and all sort of agendas of the world, of the enemy. The Bible says, he who prays for Jerusalem shall prosper. He who stands with Israel shall prosper. Israel is God's people. Though we pray for the peace of the entire surrounding nations, we pray for Jerusalem. Hallelujah. Blessed be we pray for God's people. And pray that God's favor shall be upon Israel. And when you pray for God's people upon the nation Israel, God's favor will come upon you too. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Let's open our Bibles this morning to a known scripture in Matthew chapter 14, 31 to 33. And immediately Jesus stretched forth his hand and caught him and said to him, O thou of little faith, wherefore did you doubt? And when they came into the ship, the wind ceased. Then they that were in the ship came and worshipped him, saying, of a truth thou art son of God. Truly you are the son of the living God. Hallelujah. Praise God. This morning I want to encourage you. Not to let go of your faith. Amen. Hallelujah. Don't let go of your faith. Hebrews 11.6 says. Without faith it is impossible to please God. He who comes to me must believe that he's a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. When we come with faith, he's pleased with us. Amen. Hallelujah. Faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. Hallelujah. There should be a present tense faith. Amen. Faith is in the present. It's not whether you had faith. It doesn't matter whether you will have faith. Faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. Whether do you have faith right now? Ah, glory to God. God wants you to have faith now. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for and certain of things we do not see. Hebrews 11 one says, do you believe now at this moment that God can do something for you, that nothing is impossible to you, that this morning, hallelujah, God's presence will move, hallelujah, and you will reach your destined place. You will reach your prophetic spot. You will reach where God said you will reach. God said, let's cross over to the other side. The Bible said when Jesus entered the boat, the wind ceased, glory to God, when his presence, when and his power comes upon your life. Hallelujah. Every wind will cease. Hallelujah. This morning, I don't know what wind that you're going through. It's going to cease. Hallelujah. It's going to cease. Hallelujah. There is a wind seizing presence of God. If you allow Jesus to, hallelujah, come into your boat, into your life. If you, hallelujah, look to the face of Jesus, the winds will cease. Amen. Hallelujah. Expect the winds to cease. Expect the Lord to come into your life. Expect the Lord to do something. Hallelujah. Praise God. If you know faith without expectation, it's a tiresome faith. You will get tired. The hearer will get tired. The preacher will get tired. Hallelujah. So don't tire me. Praise God. For my sake, at least believe. <laughs> Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I'll read uh, for the same chapter 24 to 28 from the AMPC version. But the boat was by this time out of this out of, on the sea many for long a for long one eighth of a mile distant from the land beaten tossed by the waves for the wind was against them and in the fourth watch between three and six a.m of night jesus came to them walking on the sea and when the disciples saw him walking on the sea they were terrified and said it is ghost and when they screamed out with fright but instantly he spoke to him saying take courage amen Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. 
And Jesus said, I am. Stop being afraid. And Peter answered, if it is you, Lord, command me to come to you on the water. Hallelujah. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Here the Bible is saying, Jesus was walking over the storm. And Peter is saying, if it is you, Lord, command me to come on the water. What would have been your response if it was you? You would have said, Lord, take this problem away. Take this pressure away. Take this anxiety away. But here is a man who said, if it is you, Lord, command me to walk over the water. Hallelujah. Amen. He is not asking him to take him over the situation. He is asking him to give him authority over the water. Come on. Over the problem. Glory to God. Hallelujah. If it is you and me, we would have said, Lord, give me a guarantee. If you tell me that I won't sink. Hallelujah. Give me a guarantee that I won't sink. Then I will walk over the water. Amen. Glory to God. Peter did not say it. He said, Lord, if it is you, make me walk over the water. Make me an instrument of your miracle. Make me, use me to prove that you are a miracle God. Come on. How many of you this morning will say, Lord, Lord, prove through my life that you are a miracle working God. It's for somebody this morning. May the Lord prove himself. Oh, glory to God. Through your life, he is a miracle working God. Come on. Hallelujah. You are a miracle material. Your situation is a miracle situation. God wants your situation. God wants your life to prove that he is a miracle working God. Lift your hands and give him praise and glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. There used to be a game before, you know, where you put a, you know, somebody will, you know, uh, uh, put a picture on your head and you have to close your eyes and he will put the picture on the top of your forehead. You can't see, but you can ask questions. You can ask male or female, 50 years more or less. Is it a handsome person? Okay. You, when, when, when you say, yeah, it's a handsome person. You, know, you say, oh, it's Pastor Chaco. <laughs> <laughs> or you can ask, who, who is this female? Parliament or assembly? Does she attack? Yeah. Is it my wife? <laughs> so just, just, just imagine if somebody put si 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 Simon Peter's photo on the top of it and somebody says, male or female? Male. Is a fisherman or a apostle? And the guy is saying, oh, both. <laughs> is he si Simon or Peter? Oh, both. <laughs> is he a man of courage or is a man of fear? Both. Does he pray or is he sleep? Both. Is he an aggressive man? Or he's a powerful preacher. Both. Oh, hallelujah. How many of you will say this morning, that's me, pastor. Sometimes I'm like Simon Peter. Courage. Walk on the water. Other time I will run away and walk in the distance. One day I will sit with the Lord and pray. Other day while I should be praying, I'll be sleeping in front of the camera. Everybody who's sleeping, put a high five. Sorry, everybody is not sleeping, put a high five. <laughs> Glory to God. Oh, yes, a lot of high fives are coming. Yeah, 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 yeah. Glory to God. Amen. Glory, glory, glory. Praise the Lord. That's enough. Thank you. So here is a man who has got an upside and a downside. On one side, he's aggressive. He cut the ears of Malchus. On the other side, he's an apostle preaching. And it's the word that he preached, cut the hearts of the people. And 3,000 born again. So he's got an upside and a downside. The one moment, 
he has the faith to declare jesus the what the son of the living god he's got revelation other day he backslide he said i don't know this man when you look into your life you have weakness and strength but the good thing is this god called you knowing that you have both sides glory to god hallelujah god so loved you when you called you he knew that you had both sides when he hallelujah gave you a resume you gave his resume and he gave you appointment letter he knew that you had both sides come on glory to god hallelujah and he loved you hallelujah still with all hallelujah all sides that you have he still loved you and he still said lord uh, son i want you i want you into into my plan into my purpose i know who you are hallelujah glory to god blessed be the name of the lord amen we think that the lord like the good part of us we think he loves us only when we get up at five o'clock and pray i mean that's great but we think on the day that i don't get up praying or fast or read the bible he doesn't like me but the lord died for the total package of you come on hallelujah glory to god he died for you hallelujah glory. he called you hallelujah still by name he knew who you were while you were still god's enemy he died for you he knew your strength he knew your weakness hallelujah he knew your negative sides and he said i can still have him i still want him i will still not leave him hallelujah glory to god i still can make something great out of him i want both side of him hallelujah amen your husband might not have understood you your wife would not have understood you your pastor would not have understood you but the lord knows you so well when you see that negative aspect in you don't think that oh my god will god use me can he use me don't run away from him he died for the total package of you yeah. glory to god hallelujah he loves you when you have faith he loves you when you have doubt but hallelujah but there is a god hallelujah praise god who can work a work hallelujah in the inside of you if you keep looking to jesus the key this morning is don't let go of your faith even in your weakest moment keep your eyes on jesus that is the difference people god used were not always strong people but the people who god used were addicted to looking to the face of jesus hallelujah if you do that he's able to make you walk over the storm there's an interesting passage in the scripture in the matthew chapter 14 and the 22nd verse and straight away jesus constrained his disciples to get into the ship and go before him unto the other side and he as he smiled, he sent the multitudes away jesus constrained him and said you go get into the ship you go away jesus forced them to go alone in that ship jesus forced them to go away pastor always would say one of the greatest places in life to be there is to be in god's will one of the greatest or safest places on earth it's always to be in god's perfect will bible says not devil jesus constrained him jesus forced him to go jesus knew that there is a storm coming he knew there was a wind on the way but he pushed them into it hallelujah sometimes when we obey god we see winds and storms and the opposition are coming against us and we think the lord is not there no sometimes the lord knows there is opposition glory to god there are problems there are challenges but he pushes you into it and he comes with you oh glory to god 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 hallelujah it is not like the storm that i taught you on the other day on jonah jonah the storm came because he was fighting god's will hallelujah but here even if you don't fight god's will hallelujah glory to god the lord is pushing you into a storm 
but we don't need to fear in the midst of the storm because he will deliver us because jesus himself is our water walker come on wind luca hallelujah oh wind palmer glory to god he can make us walk over that situation in the name of jesus lift your hands and say i too will become a water walker i too will walk over my problem i will too walk in my victory in the name of jesus glory to god hallelujah blessed be the name of jesus amen Sometimes you step into that marriage, you think, oh my God, I married a born again person. But there are a lot of challenges. Jesus knows there are challenges. What he wants you to look is to both of the husband and the wife should learn to look to the person of Jesus. A threefold cord cannot be broken. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Problems, that's not come to keep you two independent person it's to make you one dependent person hallelujah third thing when you look at it is when you look at the same passage of scripture in mark chapter 6 verse 48 the bible says seeing the disciples training at the oars oars because the wind was against them at about the fourth watch of the night he came to them walking on the sea and I like the amplified version. Acted as if he intended to pass by them. Hallelujah. How many of you are straining in the oars? You are trying your best with the oar. Hallelujah. Some of you have stepped into business. Some of you have stepped into work. Nothing is happening. You are keep trying and struggling. Hallelujah. And the Bible says, Jesus was passing that way. He did not say he was coming towards them. Isn't it amazing? He was having a morning walk on the water. Look at Jesus, how cool he is. His morning walk is on the water. <laughs> Hallelujah. He did not come to help them. Jesus was so close with them. And they said, come. They screamed, come help us. Get into our boat. And then Jesus gave their attention. Jesus might be very close to you, but at trying times, you have to call on to him. Oh, glory to God. Otherwise, you will miss out on the moment with God. Never under underestimate a human initiative. You have to ask the Lord in prayer, Lord, this season, I'm struggling. Help me, Lord. Be with me, Lord. I acknowledge your presence, Lord. I praise you, Lord. I need you, Lord. And then, hallelujah, he will come to you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Never underestimate on the road to Emmaus, the disciples were talking with Jesus. And the Bible says, while Jesus was uh, uh, speaking to them, their hearts burned with fire. And while the, the Bible says, Jesus was leaving away from them. The two disciples restrained Jesus and said, come, eat with us and go. And while he broke the bread. So Jesus was planning to leave them and they constrained him. They said, don't go now. Oh, hallelujah. In your trouble, nobody can help you. But Jesus is on your side. You don't need to call, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You know, you don't need to call him because you're, you know, G Jesus will not come and help you just because you're a believer. He will, he's not going to step into your situation just because, you know, you, you're coming to Petra Church. No. You have to call unto him in prayer. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You have to restrain him. You have to say, Lord, I need you. I want you into my life. Some people think you know, that they just have to just stand like this and Jesus will enter. No. You have to initiate it. You have to acknowledge. You have to be vigilant. You have to you have to separate yourself like J J Jacob at the tab of Jabok left everything and he separated himself and called, "Help me, rest. I I will not leave you till you bless me." Oh, come on, somebody this morning. Hallelujah. 
How many of you will pray? I will not leave you till you bless me. Glory to God. Ni ane ani gray kya thoda ni ne vidhu thilla. Divadala angane orla orka it karta bindu movie ata. Divadala jabadala gada gabala divad gamana andala divad gabala duda gabala sambara gabala malasya. Victory by the blood of Jesus. Don't move away from faith. Pray in the midst of it. Look at Peter. He is saying, "If it is me, Lord, call me." call me lord he saying if it is you praying is good but a peace P peter is saying uh, went a little more ahead in his prayer he says lord if it is you i want to get a little closer to you oh hallelujah that's your prayer today prayer is nothing else lord i want to be a little more close if it is you call me next to you lord call me unto you lord hallelujah glory to you i want to take one more step more towards you that 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 spirituality for me hallelujah that's what my my entire church is all about lord let me get a little more closer to you glory to god hallelujah glory to god amen everything else is superficial only one thing is real lord in the moment of my storm in the moment of my need in the moment i don't want to run away from you i want to get a little more closer to you lord how many of you will say that hallelujah blessed be the name of the lord Peter is asking, "I want to come close." He did not say, "If you give me a guarantee that I won't sing." He did not say. Some people are saying, "I want to be baptized, but give me a guarantee that people will not come against me." <laughs> I will get baptized. I will obey you, Lord. But give me a guarantee that I'll get this job, that I'll get married, that I'll be great, and somebody will bury me. <laughs> the lord did not give him a guarantee god gave him a word oh come on somebody hallelujah he gave a word and said come hallelujah at least he could have said lord give me a guarantee i will not die in this situation <laughs> but whatever you are going through whatever weakness that you are walking hallelujah glory to god god is saying I will open up a way in the midst of the sea. Come on! I will open up a miracle way. I will open up a way in the nation of the world. In the deepest of your trouble, I will open the biggest of the way. Come on! In the deepest of your hallelujah rejection, I will hallelujah redirect you into the greatest of your miracles. Come on! In the deepest of your debt, I will take you out of it. Uh, in the strongest of way, if you keep looking at me, come on! If you keep listening to my word, come on! If you keep obey my word, I will make. you tread in a realm that you have never tread before come on rood hava ragaba karthavanodu parne idu vere oh a realm that i've never tread before a way that i've never walked before a nation that i've never opened to be before oh hava rada come on somebody this morning hallelujah glory to god hallelujah in the olden days there was a uh, tv channel called axn fear factor people from one building to another building they will walk they 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 will put a rope and they'll walk over it and sometimes you think what what kind of great courage this guy has then you suddenly realize you know his courage comes from the word come I mean, come from the fact that even if he falls nothing happens because he has got a harness around him amen what am i trying to tell you this morning when you look to jesus and walk over the water though there is no guarantee hallelujah one thing is sure jesus who loves you won't allow you to sink hallelujah praise the lord he will not allow you to drink that salt water nor will he allow to kiss that whale come on <laughs> Glory to God! Blessed be the name of the Lord! Hallelujah! Because Jesus knows, even if you fall, there is a harness. Hallelujah! Oh, there is a love, there is a presence that is tied to you. Hallelujah! He will not allow you to sink. How many of you know? Hallelujah! You might fall. Hallelujah! Oh, no guarantee that you won't fall. You might fall, but if your eyes is on the Lord, if you stepped out looking to the Lord, Hallelujah! Even if you, Hallelujah, for a moment they took your eyes off, but if you learn to keep take back the eyes that you've taken back if you pick them back to the lord is there is somewhere god will lift you up and will make you walk over and that hallelujah water and give you that victory in jesus name hallelujah hold on to the word it's not a false promise when he said hallelujah come hallelujah 
There is his presence in that word. It's not a false promise. You go out with what you hear. You need to take the word of God and to, to tune yourself into another arena where greater victory is won. When the Lord is saying, come, you have to tune yourself into that arena of heaven where that word connects you to a certain victory. Oh, come on. The heaven is never broadcasting depression, despair, hopelessness and defeat. When the heaven is giving a word, hallelujah, you have to tune yourself into that arena, that broadcast where there is only victory there. Come on, Gloria, there is only miracle there. What are you tuning? Don't try to understand this with your human wisdom and human. You have to connect this. Oh, come on, somebody. You have to connect that word. Hallelujah. Glory to God to another broadcasting center. Your future then is filled with hope. Jesus is saying, let me make you cross over. Hallelujah. In Job 3, 28, 3 says, he puts an end to his darkness. He puts an end to the storm. But Amplified also says, he puts an end to, man puts an end to the darkness by bringing in the word, in the light. Oh, hallelujah. Either way, you can put an end to your darkness. You can put an end to your storm, but holding on to that word. But hallelujah, focusing on to Jesus, tuning into the nah, correct broadcast. Come on, correct station. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Suddenly you will not looking at the defeating victor, a voice. You are listening into the voice of shouts of joy and victory resounds in the tents of the righteous. Oh, hallelujah. It's not based on a false promise. Oh, how many of you are getting this this morning? Hallelujah. Where are you tuning yourself this morning? Don't lose your faith. Don't be afraid to fall. fall. When you look to Jesus also, sometimes you fall. But Lord knows you have a lot of weaknesses. But don't be afraid. Don't be scared to take one more step. Don't be scared to walk over it. God will not allow you to sink. Hallelujah. When you de read this passage of scripture, there are a lot of conspiracy theories about it. <laughs> when you read about this, when John is writing this in the Gospel of John, he is not saying anything about Peter stepping out or Peter falling, nothing. He is speaking nothing about Peter. Even in the Gospel of Mark, when you read it, Mark, it's John Mark. John Mark, when you understand history and the Bible, when you're a good student of the Bible, you know John Mark was a spiritual son of Apostle Peter. And he has written what Apostle Peter has told him, or Saint Peter has told him. So Peter, when he's narrating the story, Peter is not speaking anything about him walking over the water, him falling down, him looking to G. I mean, nothing. He's saying, hey, young folk, young boy, you know that me and Jesus, we were good buddies. You know? Jesus told me, it's like some of us would have written a book. Jesus spoke to me. Or, I mean, these uh, Dumbos were sitting there. <laughs> he didn't say all any of those things. There's no mean. While Peter is narrating, there is no mention of him. Why? Why? Because this entire story. It's not about you or me or Peter. It's only about Jesus. Oh, Rala Bakaras. What did the Bible say? Jesus entered the boat and the boat reached the shore and they worshipped him. They said, you are the son of the living God. This morning, hallelujah, praise God. It's not about you. It's not about me. It's not about our problems. It's not about our situation. It's about looking to the face of Jesus and Jesus taking into places where you should be reaching. And we, we, it's about we are worshipping the one who is the greatest. I am hallelujah and that's all about this life is come on that's all about it is the more you look to the face of Jesus the more you will overcome the storm we are so focused on ourselves we are so focused on our problems uh, that we are not able to tune to a different broadcast Think center hallelujah the highlight is not about whatever sicknesses and whatever cancer and whatever problems it's about the person of Jesus. Hallelujah. If you look to Jesus, you will overcome that cancer. 
If you look to Jesus, you will overcome that death condition. If you overcome Jesus, you shall not die, but shall live. Hallelujah. Later, Peter was writing in 1 Peter 1 7. Amplified version says, AMPC says, so that the genuineness of your faith may be tested, your faith, which is infinitely more precious than the perishable gold, which is tested and purified by fire. The probing of your faith is intended to redound to your praise and glory and honor when Jesus Christ, the Messiah, anointed one is revealed. He's saying, your faith needs to be tested. The genuineness of your faith needs to be tested. That is the reason why the Lord took you through that trial, so that your eyes shall be on Jesus and the genuineness of your faith shall be tested. This will prove that your faith, hallelujah, praise the Lord, will read down to glory and praise from the Lord. Hallelujah. The reason why you are going through this test is the, to, to look to the face of Jesus. Hallelujah. And you to have a tested faith of what is precious than gold. And then that's what happened to Peter. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Doctor gave that cancer report, but you said, I look to Jesus. Amen. So keep looking at the Lord Jesus and he will honor you. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And then you know what happened on the day of Pentecost. When the wind of God blew on weak people, they became the church. The church were not, hallelujah, full of strong people. The church were people, hallelujah, blown away, <laughs> blown by the wind, who became, the weak became strong, hallelujah. The Lord built this church using ordinary people, weak people, hallelujah, who looked, chose to look to their face. Peter was called an apostle of hope. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. When he read the when you read the first and the second letter, the word, the number of times he has used the word hope. Hallelujah. He became an apostle of hope. Glory to God. John is the apostle of love. He leaned on the chest of Jesus. He knew the heartbeat of the Lord. He himself wrote and said, He is the disciple whom Jesus loved. James became the apostle on the camel's knees, the one who prayed. He was a man of prayer, and Thomas became the apostle of India. Glory to God. All weak people, when they went through the storm, when they went through, they learned to look to the face of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. What do we learn from that? You need something to happen in life. You need to have hope, faith, love, prayer. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thomas was an apostle of faith. Hallelujah. He became apostle of faith. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So you need to, this morning, do not let go of your faith. Amen. May this be a miracle week in your life. May you get closer to Jesus. In your wind, hallelujah, in your storm, don't let go of Jesus. May this end up becoming a, may you end up becoming a water walker, a wind talker, dance in your storm praise in your storm hallelujah and see yourself hallelujah walking over that situation walking a victorious walk for the glory of god let's close our eyes in prayer this morning thank you jesus we worship you we give you praise we give you glory we give you honor i thank you for your presence lord when jesus entered the boat the wind ceased O oh lord this morning as the presence of god entered every home every life uh, every wind to cease uh, and they reach the shore uh, in the name of jesus we agree this morning every wind hallelujah to cease lord uh, Every wind in families, every wind in finances, every wind, O oh Lord, in their calling to cease in the name of the Lord. Oh, I thank you, Lord. We are bought, redeemed, O oh Lord, knowing that we are a package, O oh Lord. We have weak moments, we have strong moments, but you died for an entire full package, Lord. You know who we are, Lord. You know, Lord, that, hallelujah, Lord, we have upsides and downsides. Hallelujah. But in the midst of all that, we look to you, Lord. Those who look to your faces the faces are ever radiant and ever covered with shame lord uh, even in our dark moments lord uh, lift us up lord uh, help us to walk over that water lord uh, that defeated us uh, help us to walk over that storm that almost sunk us lord uh, help us to walk over it lord uh, in the name of jesus uh, we give you praise 
we give you glory we give you honor lord and we tune to your word lord you said come lord you said lord come lord we choose to walk over lord we choose to step out oh lord we want to listen to your word or ala bakala we tune to your broadcast or ala bakara no sentene me kora badia or aba sandala ba hatura you are not broadcasting defeat all there you are broadcasting victory lord there is victory in your word there is miracle in your word there is hallelujah oh hallelujah a victory over the storm there is wind seas in your word we give you praise we give you we constrain you this morning we restrain you lord we restrain you lord don't leave us lord we don't want to miss our moment oh lord we want your help lord kartave and yangale nokade enu pogirudha don't leave us without looking at us we ask you to come into our hearts we ask you to come into our families we ask you to come into our home we ask you to come into our church we want your help lord oh do not pass us by lord do not pass us by lord this morning in the name of jesus oh i commit everyone into your hands lord everybody who is joined lord don't pass over them oh rala ba khasta ala ba sio sie don't pass over them lord touch lord touch them lord help them lord help them to conquer their fears help them to walk over their long lasting problems help them to walk oh lord hallelujah in the promise that you have given them lord thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus anybody who is watching me is fallen down let them look to you and you pray we pray as a family lift them up lord that they can walk again ora la bakare de yo storo bala dasia jesus any family that fallen down let them rise again and walk oh lord you know, any husband and family wife that are bitter and fallen down let them rise again in your love ora la bakare sia thoro bala ba victory by the blood of jesus anybody has a negative report or false report or doctor's report hallelujah lord jesus we cancel those report we look to you lord to change that report that's right to defeat that report use them their situation to prove that you are a miracle working god use everyone who is watching or oh, use their situation and life to prove Oh, hallelujah! Use my life, use their life to prove you are a miracle-working God. Oh, hallelujah! Oh, Ralaba, lift your hands, receive it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That God, you are a miracle material. Oh, Ralaba, hatu raga raba, hadaga vala sambori adara. May your face shine upon them, Lord. We give you praise, we give you glory, we give you all. Na karta hu, na karitle ke pichod. I commit each and every one into your hands. I bless them. I bless them in the name of the Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Deposit faith inside of them. Oh, in the name of Jesus, we give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. Agar thawe, e piche na prarthi kino, e piche na prarthi kino, e piche na prarthi kino, e piche na prarthi kino. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus Jesus it's all about you lord it's all about you lord it's not about us lord it's about you lord we look to you lord this morning father in the name of Jesus we give you praise we give you glory lord and your hands once again i come at them we surrender the nation of israel we pray lord that they left peace in the name of Jesus with name of Jesus from pharaoh to today lord hamas I thank you, Lord. Once, Lord, they've been defeated because they're the apple of your eye. I thank you, Jesus. Keep them as the apple of your eye. Hide them under the shadow of your wings. Hallelujah! And continue to bless your people and prosper your people who is watching me all this morning. Father, in Jesus' mighty and precious name, we pray. Amen. 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 Shalom.